everybody, welcome to another edition of His Turn, Her Turn. I'm Paul Bryant from WLS Radio in Chicago and over in the passenger seat right now. I'm Her Turn and I'm Lauren Fix, the car coach. Thank you for joining us for another episode. We love your comments and so therefore we have tried something a little bit different this time. We are doing a drive from Bozeman, Montana to Jackson, Wyoming. So this is pretty cool. Uh, we are driving. Hey. Well, can you, can't you tell from the inside? Oh, no, you can't because yeah. the point of it is is that the interior is really the big story. The interior and technology is the big story for the new 2016 Ford Explorer. Platinum edition. It's the platinum edition. This thing's going to come at about $54,000. Nobody pays retail unless you're crazy. But you're looking at the competition at $59,000 and $61,000. You're getting more in this vehicle, including one of my ultimate favorites, my favorite, the massaging seats, a class exclusive. Nobody else has this. They have technology that no one else has. It's, a, it's not only the, one, the massaging seats, it's, it's got Air massaging seats, heated, heated uh, seats. One of the nicest things that, that I've found about it so far, just the short time we've had it uh, this morning. It was a little drive, chilly this morning. Yeah. It was a little chilly. And I, I always call it heated steering wheels reason number seven why the Al-Qaeda hate us. Uh, we may move up to reason number five because yeah. now it's not just on the on the leather part. Which is every other car wheel, has it that way. But also now on the wooden part of the steering right. wheel as and well. And it's real wood. Real it's, wood, real leather, real aluminum, not pictures thereof. And real heat. Real, <laughs> real heat. Yeah. Another reason they hate us. Yeah. So, but, yeah, they've uh, done a nice job on the detail. I mean, so far, I haven't driven it yet. Paul's driving first. The ride that we've been getting in the new Ford Explorer has made it uh, remarkably more palatable. The heated seats, now everybody knows about heated seats, but these are a kick up from what you've been able to get from Explorer in the past. Uh, massaging seats are in there, and it's really nice. You can use that. Uh, there's tons of connectivity in the car as well with places in the front, uh, connectivity both in the front and high speed connectivity as well from the uh, from the outlets in the back uh, the lane departure system I have if you've been watching our videos in the past I am no fan of these interferences but I get their value and I think the thing that I liked about this system is that you can vary the input and the amount of correction that you can dial in there are some that very aggressively in their default position will yank the steering wheel and pull you back into the road. Uh, you can tone that down too, but I like the default position that they've used here because it is a number of steps to get to that to where you can adjust. So uh, this this is much better. Uh, the My Touch system, Lauren uh, touched on before, no pun intended, but. Uh, but nevertheless, the screen is big. Uh, for all the people that, that whine about the MyTouch system, I've never had any problem with it, frankly. I've thought it's been one of the more usable systems uh, in here. Uh, for the audio system in the car, for someone who works in radio, I probably asked more often what kind of radio or what kind of stereo should I get, even more than I'm asked what kind of car should I get. And the question that I always ask back is, I don't know, what kind of ears have you got? Uh, because, you know, frankly, you don't want to go out and spend $3,000 on a stereo if you've got $50 ears. So the, the nice thing about uh, this is that you can really crank it. The, the connections that they've been able to put in here and the adjustments that they've put into the stereo system here in the new Explorer, really, really nice. I, I gotta give them high marks on that. And I really like a lot of the features. Nice steering wheel, good grip, love the heated wood, really nice heated leather. Love the controls. The controls in front, including the intelligent four-wheel drive, showing the different torque and the different modes. And we did a little bit of off-roading with it and it really handled well. It's obviously not meant to be an off-road vehicle, I guess, but you know, you could. Um, all the controls are real easy. I noticed that the center console is easier to place your arm where before it was just sort of in an awkward position. I do like the USB chargers. They are superchargers. So in other words, it's like putting in an iPad. You could plug in anything. Uh, the detail is quite impressive. 
the detail on the wood, the leather is really nice, the actual stitching. So overall, I'm looking at an interior that I'm really impressed with. So the brakes are pretty aggressive. I like the fact that you can make emergency stops and it, it definitely grips and you're certainly not under braked in a vehicle like this. The new 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, I like it. It's got good pickup, it's fuel efficient. I mean, we're not getting killer fuel economy, but it's, it's doing pretty good actually. As far as handling, you know, I think it handles very well. I mean, obviously it's a full size SUV and Overall, Ford did a great job on the interior, the handling. They really stepped up their game in every aspect. And based on the competition, which is the Jeep Grand Cherokee and the GMC Acadia, and based on price point, I think they did a really impressive job. You're getting a lot of car for your money. And if you're looking for a full-size premium SUV like this Platinum Edition, which is brand new for them, I think they hit all the marks. I love things like the power third-row seating, especially when you got your arms full of stuff. I think they did a fantastic job. Um, I, and again, I like the sync system. I guess that depends on who you are. Uh, navigation, the chargers, all the controls are easy to use. The AC seats, I mean, hey, if you're gonna buy a, a fully loaded vehicle and it's $50,000, and I don't know how many people that pay retail, I think you're getting a lot of vehicle for your money. Uh, I think that the sweet spot where you're gonna see most of these in your dealerships are gonna be in the 42 to 45 range, mm -hmm. right in there. Watching for the buffalo, make sure they don't attack us. <laughs> don't do that to me. They're gonna be around the, the 42 to 45 range. You could go ahead and amp it up. You could probably run it to, what did they say, about 51, 52? Well, loaded up, you can go like 53, he was saying, you know, 53, nine. But when you look at the competition, they're at 59 and 61. Yeah. So I think they've put together a good package. I did like the lane change departure, which was adjustable, because typically, when I get a car, I test it out and I shut it off. But you know what, this was nice. I used the active cruise control. It worked, it was adjustable. So all the technology this has, a round view camera, yeah. cross traffic we used when we were backing out of a spot, backup camera, washing the camera lens. I mean, there's so much on this car. If you're looking at a high-end German SUV, you wouldn't get everything, including the massaging seats. Those are not, there might be in Mercedes, but yeah. Audi doesn't offer it, Porsche doesn't offer it in the Cayenne, and you're talking twice I, the price. And I don't think BMW does either. I don't believe I, they, they do They do either. in the 7 Series, but I don't think but they do But not in the X5. Yeah. yeah, I think good yeah. for them. Good on them. And we'll be reviewing it, of course, on His Turn, Her Turn, on our fan page, on our YouTube channel. We'll be following us on Twitter. Of course, you can follow Paul at... Uh, on WLSAM.com. I tweet at the Paul Bryant. And Lauren is often a guest on my radio show on Saturday mornings on WLS. Uh, Drive with, Chicago with, with Paul Bryant. Uh, I've heard that guy. <laughs> uh, and, and you can get that by uh, going to iHeartRadio or you can listen if you're in Chicago or whatever. But, yeah, absolutely. But it streams there. Or podcast. Sure. You can subscribe to that, yeah. too. And I am Lauren Fix, the car coach. You can follow me on my website, laurenfix.com. Sign up for the free newsletter, please. And or follow me on Twitter, Lauren Fix. She's worth following. I'm always putting up really good information on what's going on in the world. As it happens, I beat a lot of the national news stories to the internet, so make sure to follow me. Uh, and of course, we love your comments below. If you've test driven the vehicle, you know, we love to hear from you, and your feedback is very important to us. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode.